Last week, I talked about one of my favorite satellites, Telstar 1, and how it died, unfortunately, in 1963, and yet continues to orbit overhead, which is a little creeptastic. But it reminded me of how much stuff is orbiting overhead at any given time, and we don't really have a sense of it. We get a sense for how congested car traffic is outside at home or work. We get a sense of hearing how much traffic is going by or if it's fairly quiet outside. So we have a general sense of when times are busy or not busy. But we don't really have that sense when it comes to the satellites that are overhead. When is it busy or congested or quiet overhead? Thankfully, someone created a really cool space hack called Symphony of Satellites. Hi, everybody. We are Satellite Symphony. We thought, what if you could play the whole sky based on all the satellites that are above you as an instrument. So we take data, live data from NORAD, and we map all of the objects which are above our heads right now. The velocity turns into the pitch of the note, and the height in the sky turns into the tempo, and that's updated every second. And we use this to generate music in HTML5. This one's from where we are right now at the Cal Academy of Sciences. Uh, we have another one here in Moscow, Russia. Symphony of Satellites was created by a couple of developers and a neuroscientist at a science hack day in San Francisco. They utilized data from NORAD via a tool called Celeste Track in order to get all the data from the satellites. When Symphony of Satellites was demoed at Science Hack Day, people loved it. It kind of helped that they created a really dorky video to go along with it. To check out Symphony of Satellites for yourself, go ahead and go to the URL on the screen here. It might be here or here, here. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere on the screen. So actually, you should click on it, check it out, and also check out the GitHub page where you can actually see their open source code that made the hack. Space hacks like these are why I love hacking space exploration so much. It's really about bringing things that are otherwise distant, like satellites or supernovas or space travel in general, down to Earth in an experienceable form. Things that are otherwise invisible to us become visible, or in this case, audible. That's all I have time for this week, but be sure to leave a comment with recommendations of other cool space data sets that people should check out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and please donate to the Patreon campaign so that there can be more space pods of us talking about how to hack space exploration, geek out about space exploration, and generally just have a fun time with space exploration. Mm -hmm.